It's crucial to get a good agreement and an effective agreement in Copenhagen because we have very little time left in which we have to ensure that emissions of greenhouse gases globally start declining. And therefore, if we don't get a good agreement in Copenhagen, then we're only postponing the problem and therefore making it more difficult. I think it's obvious today that it must be taken concrete decisions in Copenhagen. I think we'll be able to make uh, some considerable progress, uh, but it may frankly not be uh, as much as everyone would, um, would desire and expect. I'm afraid it will not be enough, but it will be extremely much better than nothing. Because if they don't do in Copenhagen, it can be in many ways too late and the possibilities of very difficult situations arising if we don't take action. We must accept that there is no other uh, way out of this than a global agreement. An indication that all the major emitting countries are going to row in the same direction. Recognizing that uh, a part of our challenge is to work collaboratively, clearly with other countries and with other leaders. I think it's essential to create the political space whereby leaders can really start taking the right decisions because let's face it, we really have to bring about a major change from business as usual. Politicians should not be afraid if they take the decisions which are necessary. People are very concerned, they want the political leaders to act. This global observatory can really create that political space. Well, I think the economy is a, is a big issue here. From a company perspective, climate change uh, throws off enormous opportunity in terms of changing our industry. That there are ways to create, quote, green jobs in the U.S. that help us, again, deal with the issue of the environment. Uh, but those jobs then can't be outsourced. I mean, this is our big chance. And leaders, understandably, are not going to take risks unless they have the political space. I think the Global Observatory is a very uh, useful initiative. It's a timely initiative. And it's something which I think can make a difference. My message to the decision makers in Copenhagen is think of your children and of your grandchildren and what will be written about you in the history books. And as Gandhi always said, be the change you want to see in the world. In other words, uh, we have to back up our uh, words with action.